Hello and welcome back guys. Today is a bit different. Not much. We are going to be playing Minecraft and by the way today's episode I believe is number 22. As you can see I'm back using the standard texture and that's because the I've made quite a few changes. First change is I have migrated once again. We are now no longer using the Die Wolf pack, we are now using the Ultimate pack. I have done a few tests to see if it would work properly and thus far it looks like everything that we have made so far will work perfectly. I have however been to the nether and picked up everything we had in the nether and then deleted the nether. So, that's one thing. You, why I have I done that? This mostly because the ultimate pack adds a lot of spawn in the nether. And um, I wanted us to take full advantage of that and I didn't feel we have done too much in the nether anyway. So I figured, why the hell not? Now however, there is a few new spawns in the overworld as well and that means next time I'll m I'm moving my quarry it's going to be moved very, very far to take full, of full advantage of that as well. But most of those things are added by Greg's tech. There is however the mod called Applied Energetics that adds a few as well, which I would really want and I have cheated in a few, I cheated in 12 ores from Applied in Energetics and mined them all and put them in the chest so I do have a little. The Greg's tag is l not just late game but extreme late game so I'm not worried about that and besides I am not a big, f it's not that I'm not a fan of Greg's tag, I haven't really tried it out so I don't really know that much except that I don't like it makes recipes more expensive. So with the exception of quarry I have set all the expensive recipes from Greg's text to false. So it's normal crafting except for the quarry which is a bit more expensive and I actually think that one is fair but I'm not quite sure we are going to make another quarry so it won't really be a problem. Since last time I've built this building here, which I actually did before migrating to the ultimate pack, but you can see down to this one I have bees and after that it's empty. We will get bees in them. But yeah, that's not what we're going to do this episode. I just wanted to show you. One thing, the Rise minimap isn't part of this mod pack. Unfortunately, we have the Voxel map instead, which in many ways functions the same way. Um, honestly, I like Rise minimap a bit better, but not. It's not a big difference. The biggest difference, which kind of annoys me a lot, is that waypoints are not anymore bound to the dimension they're from. They're bound to the safe game but is in all dimensions or at least in the nether as well. I haven't tried it in any other. And I have been around putting up some of the waypoints I had before. But le let's go to the nether and see what it looks like now. And we're in the nether. And so far so good, it looks kind of normal. But here's what looks a bit different. I believe this is another cone. Yeah, cool. And this I believe is added by extra bees. Embittered. Cool. Now, that's one of the reasons I wanted to not use another m um, texture pack. It's because I felt these ores would 
stand out way too much in the nether. Because they wouldn't be part of it yet. But there is at least two of the new mods that add spawns here in the nether. There might be more. But there is a mod called Nether All, which obviously adds spawns here in the nether. There's also Grextech. This over there is from Grextech, I know. But I think Applied Energetics might do it as well. And you know what, this seems awfully familiar. Except for the new ores. There's also new ores down there. I think the nether is basically the same as before. Which is kind of cool, because then I know where the fortress is. Yeah, this is great stuff. So, and besides that, there's a ton of new mods in this pack, which I think is really cool. Lovely. I was wearing jetpack. Luckily. So, basically we have a completely new nether, and a ton of new mods. Oh, well the nether isn't completely new, as I said, I believe it's actually quite a lot like the old one. So let's see if I'm right. Just set some torches so I know. Now it should be noted that if you mine Nether ore, not the Grextech ores, like th those, but... Yeah, the ores added by the mod called Nether ore, which is uh, basically all vanilla ores and uh, most mud ores, like <coughs> copper and tin and stuff. You will aggro nearby pigment if you mind it. So that's quite nice to know. And there is a chance it will explode. Now, apparently, they don't aggro if you mine it with Thumbcraft tools, which is kind of cool. Now, I hope I'm remembering this right. <coughs> but having uh, both Great Turk and Nether All means there's a lot more reason to go here in the Nether. Now I cannot... is it down here, I believe? Yeah. Big piles of ore. Now, Applied Energistics. I saw a mod spotlight where they said that Applied Energistics also had spawns in the nether, but I just can't seem to find it, not even in uh, NIE. Which... As you can see, we have the quartz crystals from the normal world, but I can't find it from a uh, nether version. So I think that is not true. But who knows? I think I'm lost. Okay, we found the fortress, but I'm definitely not coming from the direction I thought I would. So let's just go back and see where I made a wrong turn. Oh yeah, it's just down here, right. So I was really close. We have the fortress. Have I remembered to set the lighting? Let's see. Smooth lighting, brightness. Let's just put it to bright, then you might actually be able to see stuff as well. Down there. Okay, 
So, I've made a few stuff. A few different things. Maybe I should set up the pump while we are here. The one that's here with the fortress? Definitely don't want it. Nice to spit up people. This is a bit hard. Okay, let's get some food and let's get into the fortress before I start showing you some of the stuff I have brought with me. There's a few blades. Okay, only one blaze. So I'll just stand here and show you. I brought three new soul shards and he couldn't wait. Okay, looks like he's going to stay there. And... A cool sword. I want a wither soul shard and a blaze soul shard. Everything else I don't really care about at this point at least. So let's not activate this yet. Uh, I fear if I kill that one right now I'll make both of them into blaze shards. I don't want that. There we go, now we should be ready to kill this guy. And I'm on fire. Thank you. Now we have a cool blaze shot. I want to take this cone with me. Now I will uh, set up the pumps so we can get some more lava because without the pumps we are not really producing power which is a big deal actually but I think this would be a pretty good place to set the pump yeah this seems It's a bit too close. I want to make sure we are out over the lava. Yeah. Hmm. Don't fall. This also seems a bit safer than where I put it before, because it's actually a bit hidden away. So let's get these out. Oh. Well, I'll just set this up and then I'll be back, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. And as you can see, Hmm. I've set this up here, a world anchor here, with 12 ender poles inside. And a world anchor uh, loads the uh, tree by tree chunk. So even though you can see the chunk ends here, and this is the chunk grid, you can see the green and red one. It covers this entire part here, so even if it only loaded one chunk, it's only w one of the engines here that wouldn't be loaded. So that's fine. Think. But it does load it tree by tree, so I believe this should be loaded as well. And right now, we should start seeing some lava coming up soon. There is coming some here, and okay, there we go. So until the engines are heated properly up, we will not be getting that much, but it is, we will be getting some. 
So now I go kill some withers and some uh, blazes. And... Just get that redstone there. That was not redstone. Yes, it was. Strange. Now, one thing I must tell you, the sharpness, I bet you know what, how it works, and Soul City Dealer, I have told you before, Warpel is a special one added by Red Power 2. When you hit something with Warpel, there is a chance to do a massive damage. It's not very big, but it is there. And if that is the killing hit, you also automatically get the hit of um, of whatever you hit. So that's one of the reasons I brought it and to um, to in hopes of uh, getting a few more wither skulls. Because soon I think we have what we need to kill the wither. I want to upgrade my chest plate before we do it, but I think I think we are fairly close. So I'll run uh, around a bit here in the nether, and then I'll be back. Hello guys. I'm still running around in the nether. This is the fortress I have been running around in. I have not killed as many as I had hoped so far, and I have taken off my jump pack, by the way. But I found this. I don't know if you can see it in the dark, but it's another fortress. So I think think we won't be missing any cool stuff. So, yeah, I'll be back once I'm going back to the old world, I think. Okay guys, I'm back because I wanted to show you a nice cool feature. And I'm getting attacked by Blaze. So, if you take the Soul Charm, which is attuned to Blazes, and here we have the Blaze Spawner and... Luckily, I have a ton of armor. And this is good. Then we remove the so the spawner and we get a lot more souls in here. And I'm in some kind of trouble. There we go. Regeneration for the win. Still no head. Well, I'll be back once I'm in the overworld. Hello guys, we are back and in the overworld. And I did take a little break and updated the texture pack. Not everything is covered, I believe, but most things are. So that's quite cool. So let's see what kind of stuff we got. I g did get three Wither Skulls, which was extremely lucky. I also got a tier 2 Wither Skeleton Shard, which is too little. <laughs> I would have hoped to have gotten one that was higher, but that's life, I guess. Um, I believe it needs to be tier 4 before I can use it in the overworld. And I want to use it in the old world, so that means I need to go back. But my blaze spawner, or soul shard, I got to tier 5. Thank god for the spawners, because you get 200, I believe, for uh, destroying a spawner with one of these, then you get 200 kills. So, uh, and my swords, swords gave me 5. Souls each kill, so as you can. I did kill quite a few st still, but I did destroy four or five spawners as well. I think it was four spawners, so that helped a lot. Let me take a look here. I got a lot of something I cannot pronounce Swalarite dust or something like that. Some cinnabar dust, which I don't quite know what this is for. I got a single tier, gas tier. 
some sink dust, some redstone, pyrotite, coal, and some different nether stuff. Let's try and see what happens when we put copper in uh, another copper in here. It starts to polarize and we got two copper over here. That wasn't... Well, that was kinda normal. I did actually expect a little more. Well, let's try the tin one. Which is waiting for this one, so let's take that out. Oh, and see, the tin one gave me three. Another iron. Let's see what that does. And we can put this in here. Three iron as well. Why did the copper not give me three? Or maybe it did. Cool. So let's see the uses for some of these different dusts. Pyrotide, yeah, we can make it into a small one. Industrial electrolyzer, I have no idea what that is, but it seems if we put it in there we can get some sulfur and some iron dust, which both was quite useful. And that seems to be the only thing pyrotide is used for. And why did you stop? Oh, by the way, because we were running out of of lava. Well, we wasn't running out, but we wasn't getting any. I turned all of these off. I might as well turn them back on. Nickel. You got nickel dust? I have no idea what that's... Well, I guess it creates nickel. But... Let's see what the coal does. The coal gives us coal dust, which we can use, but we can make hydrated coal dust, which can then be used for coal dust. Single-use batteries. I have no use for a single-use battery. H coal, which can then be used to make an H coal cell. So, I don't really know what... Doesn't... can we use it for... Uh, yeah, we will probably have to find out. Uh, I believe I might be able to cook it directly. Let's see what happens then. It probably ends up here. And I get a normal coal ore, which I can use for... I can obviously turn it into coal. By melting it. Or put it in a polarizer. Or I can get two coal dust by putting in a macerator. I can put it in an industrial grinder, which I don't know what it is, but we'll probably find out. And I'll get a coal, some coal dust, a tiny pile of thorium dust, and an empty cell. Oh, because, yeah, okay, I need a water cell in there as well. What is thorium? So as you can see, there's a lot of new stuff added in here. Oh, it gives amplifier as well, cool. So... I don't quite know if I want to use it as coal dust or just as coal. Well... How much coal do we have? Oh yeah, that's the diamond. We have lots and lots of coal, so let's just make this into dust. And what else did we get? We got the something something dust. And that can be used again in an electrolyzer to get a sulfur and zinc. And was that the one I looked at before then? 
This can be used to get us sulfur and zinc. Oh, but this only gives one sulfur. The other one gave us two, right? Right. So not completely the same, but not a big different. And nickel dust I can make nickel ingots out of. Which I can then polarize to ferrous metal directly. Cool. I can use iron and turn it into tree ingvars. Oh, I can use nickel to make mixed metal ingots. Cool. Zinc dust, what can we use that for? Zinc ingots. And what can we use zinc ingots for? We can, of course, make dust. And with copper, we can make brass in an induction smelter. Or we can use it in to make mixed metals, which is kind of, kind of cool. Tungsten. Cool. So let's uh, throw the zinc and the nickel in here. Let's see what else did I get. Some more zinc. It's the cinnabar ore. I know there's the Thorncraft cinnabar, but somehow I doubt this works the same way. So we can electrolyze it and get sulfur and mercury. Sulfur seems to be in all of them. What can you use with mercury sulfur? Tanker? Single use batteries? Illuminator? Oh, I can make quicksilver. Cool. I also put it in a grinder with some netherite. Gold nuggets, netherite dust, and empty cell. Oh, there's more. Oh, cool. I can put it in with silver to get lead and silver. Copper and nickel. It seems to be a lot of uses for some of this stuff, which is kind of cool. And what can netherite dust be used for? I can get redstone out of it. Cool. So, lots and lots of new stuff. Wait, polarized iron? Oh, probably from... ah, uh, yeah, sure. I'll just get that coal out there. Put coal in there. Oh yeah, what was that blob? That yellow garnet. What is yellow garnet? I can make yellow garnet dust. And more yellow garnet dust in... Okay, so we can make it into dust, okay? And we can use the dust in an industrial centrifuge to get some more unknown dust and other unknown dust and another unknown dust. Or I can put it in an explosion compressor to get yellow garnet and dark ashes. What the... Is I can make fertilizer. So... Mm, interesting, maybe? So let's put... not in the... third time's the charm. Let's just put that in there. What happened to... oh, it's... cool. Hmm. Ok, 
do so. Redstone goes in here. Skeletal skulls. Good for decoration, and there is some cool stuff for Thumbcraft, and I have apparently got a bedroom friend. That's not exactly what I meant. And I should have taken out my soldier. Okay. So let's put the skulls in here, and I have no room for anything else in here. There's something I can take out. Huh. I could take these flowers, I guess. Even uh, rub in this tear. I think I'll take these books out as well and put over here. Just for good measure. Oh no you don't, you little ocelot. Thank you. You shouldn't go and try to eat my chickens. Oh yeah, I took off my goggles. So still high, still working on getting this node to be pure. So cow shot with the skeleton shot. Okay, the chicken shot is getting close. It would probably move faster if I could find a chicken spawner, which is quite unlikely. I will say I would be super happy if I found a chicken spawner, but I will also say it's not only unlikely, it's impossible. So, yeah, we need gunpowder to go in here, and then I have all this new dust I don't really know where to put, so I guess I'll m make a chest for now. No, I'll put it in here. Yeah, it will fit nicely. Oh, I know what you are. I got a good deal of blaze rods, which I'm kinda happy with. Oh, I'm making sync. Cool. And since the bee, let's try breeding that one. I know I talked about making a railway, and th that was originally the plan to make a railway going all the way to my bees, and I really need to charge all my gear. But all this new stuff got me um, a bit distracted, and there's a world hole. Can we fly over it? We can. Cool. And I don't care. For now. I'm still not quite sure what I think about this new minimap. It has a better menu, I think. But um, the features, other than the menu, I think I prefer si Rise minimap, and um, I think. That's what counts. Um, the menu is cool in this one, but still. So let's see if we can get this one to exist in the non-nether. I'm guessing no, but let's look. I think I have my PLizer somewhere here. Yeah, I do. So we should probably have done that before. And hostile environment. 
Let's take a look. Embed up normal, slower, normal, nether. So I need nether warts, I guess. That's the only flower that grows in the nether, isn't it? Effect aggress. I have no idea what that means. And it needs hellish climate. So I guess it needs to be really hot and arid. Hmm. But it does have nocturnal, which is cool. But not cave. So that's that mean it needs to see the sky, but there is no sky in the nether. Let's try grabbing one of these. Okay, let's do Okay. Thank you. And let's try putting it in the nether. Oh, before I go, I'll just plant these. Because I have a dream... Okay, that... I'm not Martin Luther. But... So someday I uh, breed some magical bees. And they need magical flowers. Uh, it's a long way, but I did it mostly to clear out my chest. But there's a particular bee I want, called a pure bee, which is, I think, the hardest um, magical bee to get. But it, what it does is basically it p cleans nodes from, uh, so that's not so much flux in it. And it would be really cool to have that near my node, because as you have seen, it's, I have pumped up good deal of flux into it. I doubt I've done all of it, but still. Hmm, got a sapling. So why did I run up here? I wanted to deposit those, I guess. I want them there. But I do want to put these in here for now. I also want to charge some of all the gear I'm running around with. Are you looking? Good, good. Lots of stuff coming in. Let's power that one first. Do I have... No, no barrels with... Lace rods in it, and I'm. This is getting full fast. Let's take two of these. Uh, no, yeah. By the way, these are the quartz crystals that um, applied energetics adds, and you will also get these quartz dust. So um, I cheated in some the quartz crystals, or I believe twelve, maybe of the or type, I admit, and broke them with uh, my wand, and apparently the first couple I didn't even get dust from, but I ended up having 14 of each anyway. And so it's kind of random. Um, and I even got more dust than, uh, than I had all to start with, so that's a bit of a surprise to me. So, where do I want these nether ro rods? Okay, I want them here, I can see. And I do need one last thing before we go back to nether. I don't need that much. I'm quite sure there's some of it in the nether, but just to make sure. Okay. Oops. That's only... That was not grown at all, but I'm betting I have some here. Good. Then I should have everything I need. So we'll go back to the nether, and uh, I'll see you there. Okay, guys, we are back in the nether, and... Whoa! With this texture pack, these ores look really cool. There's some coal down there. 
Yeah, I need to spend some time mining in the nether now. Let's just try placing a few of these down here. Oh, I forgot this. It says hell is an arid. And they are definitely coming out. And I'm taking a good amount of damage. So maybe I shouldn't have placed it so close to the portal, but it is definitely working. I'll just... Because I don't have any um, frames in there. So I don't want it working without frames. And... Yeah. I also think this is a good place to wrap up this episode. I have a lot of work to do before next episode. Some things I had already planned and promised you that I haven't done. Like uh, making the railway or at least making ready for it. I might do it on camera. And um, also I talked about increasing the tank with biomass and I talked about doing energy via biomass and I think it's also time to use some of our iridium so all of that is something that will happen next episode and for things I have forgotten that I have already planned to uh, talk to you about doing I'm sorry I have, haven't done it it's this time it was because I got a bit distracted by all the new cool stuff so I hope you can forgive me and uh, please leave a like and uh, maybe even a subscribe and until next time, take care of yourself.